The saga of John Kelly uh, continues. You know, uh, of course, there's a lot of rumors going around in the White House, as there usually is, about uh, whether or not John Kelly is going to leave or whether or not he's actually trying to get himself fired. I would think that it's uh, the latter, uh, but based on some of the statements that he has made before, uh, I will get into that. But first, um, he's got a new statement that's out today. Uh, well, it actually came out yesterday, um, and this was during a event marking the Department of Homeland Security's 15th anniversary. Uh, he made these statements. Let's take a look. There was no uh, right to be up here on the stage. I mean, I was... In the department, you have every right and to I be miss, here, so I miss every you. one of you every day. Uh, I went. <laughs> uh, tr truly, at uh, six months, uh, the last thing I wanted to do was walk away from one of the great uh, honors of my life, being the Secretary of Homeland Security. Uh, but I did something wrong, and God punished me, I guess. I <laughs> All right. So look. Uh, you can take that as a as a joke, or not. I tend to think that it's kind of half a joke, and the other half of, oh my God, I've got to work for Donald Trump. Again, he doesn't necessarily seem to be very, very happy in his position, uh, and from other reports that I had read previously, he saw this uh, position as an act of duty, like, hey, man, I, I got to be one of the adults in the room to make sure that Donald Trump doesn't accidentally blow ourselves up or blow up another country or do whatever or, you know, inflame hostilities with North Korea. Good job, by the way. Great job, Kelly. But there's only so much, of course, he can do when you're dealing with somebody like President Trump. So now this, of course, um, is one of the several statements that he has made. Um I remember talking about a story when he had previously threatened to uh, resign. And apparently he used to use that in order to uh, get Trump to basically do uh, and make the changes that he wanted Trump to make in the White House. Now, those changes, of course, were restricting access uh, to the president, something that Jared uh, Kushner and, and, and Ivanka Trump were not necessarily happy about. Uh, Anthony Scaramucci lasted 11 days, was fired by John Kelly, so he's not exactly happy with the changes, but it did bring some stability to a very, very unstable White House, which I think uh, was like the one decent contribution that John Kelly has made. Now, look, I'm no fan of Kelly. He's very, very anti-immigrant, very, very right-wing. So I don't agree with him. I'm basically anything, but I at least give him some credit here uh, for actually putting facts in front of the president instead of allowing Steve Bannon, of course, when he was there to basically put the latest issue of Breitbart on Trump's desk or when Omarosa was working there, uh, putting the latest video or, or article of Morning Joe in front of the president and say, oh, my God, can you do you see this? Look at this. And then getting Trump to be all pissed off and, and tweet for the rest of the day. Donald Trump has, uh, of course, uh, some anger issues. And he's very, very easy to get him to fly into a rage, which, of course, you'll see on Twitter. So John Kelly tried to put a stop to that. At least he put a stop to a lot of the stuff uh, in front of uh, ending up in front of Donald Trump. Stuff that, again, was not factual in, in, in nature, at least. And that's one of the contributions, the biggest contribution that John Kelly has actually made. Uh, but he might not be there much longer. <laughs> Again, there's been a lot of speculation about him either resigning or uh, being fired. And he hasn't actually uh, been helping himself either. Uh, the whole situation with Rob Porter, uh, him not doing the security clearances, and then denying Jared Kushner uh, a security clearance. It, would think that that would put him at odds with the president. Not only that, but he remarked privately, and then it somehow got out that, oh, Ivanka, Ivanka, I can't believe what she's doing. She's playing government. I mean, she's not really serious about this. She has no qualification, she didn't know anything, which is absolutely 100% like true. <laughs> Nonetheless, 
John Kelly saying, I don't give a shit. I don't like Jared Kushner, and I don't like Ivanka Trump, and they don't like me either. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? So now we've set up a situation where you've got John Kelly versus Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner. I wonder what's going to happen. It's going to get very, very interesting. But as you can see, John Kelly, he gives no more fucks about what's going on in the White House. Um, and again, this could either lead to his uh, departure or his elevation. We'll have to see what happens. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like this, please hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to support truly independent progressive media, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash TYT Nation.